we have got a new weigh-in this week. Um, on average, we've been looking at around 183, sometimes 182, but today it dropped quite a bit. I'm not going to count this as my, as my main weigh-in because it hasn't been consistent over this weight, but I thought I'd show you guys anyway. I have a feeling tomorrow is probably going to bump back up by about one pound. So this is what we're looking at now. This is like basically first thing in the morning. We're 180. 1.6 pounds but in my brain i'm still gonna say 182 but anyways what i'm gonna do right now i've got my my clear way my creatine on my table so i'm gonna have this now as i go on my treadmill in the other room which is here uh probably gonna put on the weighted vest i have for those of you that don't know if you're new here but yeah this is the weighted vest it's quite heavy i ain't gonna lie i bought this off facebook marketplace i've got two of them I've got this one which is around it can go as high as 20 kg by the moment, I'd probably say it's around mm, 16, 17 kg. And then I have one that's a little bit lighter. This one's more around 10 kg in it, so it's a bit lighter. Because it's a little bit slimmer, sometimes if I go on a walk, and I wear a hoodie and I'll just wear this underneath my hoodie and I'll go for a walk. I am getting away from my desk and I'm going to the gym. My head is killing me, but I just need to get away. I think it's stress. I just want to get away from my desk. I've been on it for ages and I'm just dying right now. But today in particular, I just felt like it was feeling worse. I did go for like a good 45 minute walk earlier today to try and make clear my head and feel better, but it didn't really, it didn't hurt, but it didn't really help. So I'm thinking maybe going to the gym will probably make me feel better, just de-stress. I may do a little bit of cardio, because to be honest, even though I do prefer, even though I do think the incline treadmill bears more calories for me in particular, I will probably do the rower today because I kind of enjoy doing the rower. I put on a YouTube video for like 20 minutes or so or 30 minutes and I'll just row away. You know I mean? It still does burn calories, but um, I do feel like I like it though. Something like the rower plus me working out in the gym, I think it's going to get a good bit of blood flowing from my body and I'll feel better. So yeah, I'm going today more so of a stress reliever. I may not do the full time because I didn't plan on training today to be honest, but I'll probably do at least an hour, at least an hour I think. I can't see me being able to do all of that in 45 minutes. If I'm going to train, the weights will probably be at least 45 minutes. And if I do the cardio with the video I want to watch, which is 20 minutes, you know what I mean? That's already over an hour and a bit. So, yeah, that is the gist today. I may put a little bit on screen, but I just thought I'd give you a check-in because that is what these weekly somewhat vlogs are about. And for those of you watching, the funny thing is, uh, this hopefully will be somewhat motivation. I have not changed the damn thing for the most part. Like, I've just kept being consistent, and this week, for whatever reason, the weight started moving down again. So even though it more or less stayed very similar for like a, almost 10 days, it just randomly jumped down by two pounds, um, just for me doing basically the same stuff. Um, so all I can say is for those of you watching, if you feel down, and you're struggling, and you're worried that you're doing the right things, but you're not seeing progress yet, sometimes it's just about time. So it's consistency, time and effort. So if you're putting in the time and effort, the chances are if you keep being consistent, it'll start paying off, even if it's not right now. So consistency isn't just one week, isn't just two weeks, it means perpetually. So um, yeah. But yeah, I feel, and you probably already seen the clips on screen now to be honest, but yeah, I just can't wait to get to this damn gym and just relax. Right, workout done peeps i ain't gonna lie that, that felt great I, my head feels a lot better it's not gone completely but i feel a lot more relaxed I ended with uh five minutes on the rower machine before i just felt too tired and i ended up doing 50 minutes on exercise bike but yeah I, I feel i'm happy i went another day another dollar my girl's sleeping right now so what i'm gonna do <laughs> is take out the bins and just go for a quick walk probably about 20 maybe 30 minutes I'll see if she wakes up. So yeah, she ain't gonna wake up anytime soon. So I just thought I'd do it. Just because I feel kinda antsy. I thought I'd go for a nice fresh air walk simply because over the last couple of days, Kareen has came down with some sort of illness and it's slowly been trying to affect me. So I thought I'm gonna go try and get like a nice 45 minute walk in just to get some fresh air in my head. I just had a great session, 
really really good I do think a part of it may be due to the weather I think the sun just made me feel I don't know like in the gym it just felt great the weird thing is going in there I felt quite tired I only went in there to do cardio today so I started off with the rower so basically I did what I normally say not to do when it comes to like trying to build muscle but today was meant to be a cardio day so I started off with the row machine for 25 or 28 minutes and then after that I went and did a little bit on the cross trainer and I was ready to leave but I just realized I had like a good bit of energy so I decided to do like a little bit more of a functional workout so I did a little bit of a is it clean and press and a few other things and now I just feel like I don't know my endorphins are buzzing I'm gonna go for a little bit of a walk and then go back home and eat one thing I can't wait to do near the end of the cut after looking back at this footage is not seeing turkey neck when you're bulking or when you chubby face you gotta have the camera above your head which makes it more awkward when you're vlogging but yeah down here it's just too much turkey all right peeps quick meal here so we're gonna have a wrap so we've got chicken sausage three chicken sausages two bacon medallions and egg whites one whole egg and a wrap and that's about it and then i'm probably gonna have one of those smoothies i showed in the last vlog uh, maybe about an hour after this It's good people um so check in the weight is still around the 182 pound mark so i think that is basically it now i'm not i ideally so i ideally probably won't be going higher than that um this week i have got a funeral so i thought i'd at least check in today and show you guys what i'm doing i also need to cut my hair i'm gonna do it myself I'm not getting going to the Jamaican barber just because I ain't got time to wait in his shop for like two hours. So I'm gonna try to do a home haircut like I typically do. To be fair, I've been doing this since lockdown. But as a whole, this week's been pretty good. All right, we have pulled up to the gym. It's gonna be an upper body and lower body. So that's not right. It's gonna be an upper body session. What I meant to say was it's gonna be a push and a pull session because normally I separate them. But because I've got, um, I can't go gym tomorrow. I've got to get ready for funeral stuff. So I'm gonna combine two workouts basically. Oh, as for the, the thing, I tried to give myself a quick little haircut. You know what I mean? I, I may have to redo it again uh, tomorrow or yeah, probably tomorrow in the sunlight. But that's the gist, just to make it look a little bit cleaner. But yeah, so yes, get in this gym. I will say I'm definitely a, a weather guy. Since the weather is more just plain, it looks a bit, it looks like it's probably gonna rain actually. The clouds are looking kind of iffy. I don't feel as energized as I have for like this whole past like week or so when the sun was out popping. So for sure, this is proof that I'm definitely part of Kryptonian because as soon as the sun is a little bit gone, I just don't feel as amped up and energetic. All right, you should be seeing a workout on screen. Ain't gonna lie, this workout didn't go exactly as of planned simply because Got there, bumped to my boy, and I ain't seen him in like three weeks, so we were just like catching up and just busting jokes, seeing how each other's been over the last three weeks. And I ain't gonna lie, I wouldn't take it any other way. Like, even though I like not doing that every single workout, because then that will just kill your whole performance. Once in a while, I don't mind just like almost sacrificing the session just to kind of catch up and bust jokes. But yeah, that was decent. Um, so regardless of muscle building potential, it definitely gave me a mental boost. So I feel, um, I felt good, like catching up and stuff and just like just venting about various stuff that's happened over the last how many weeks or just like just bonding in general man bonding but uh so yeah anyways that's for the workout i was just doing a mix of whatever i could um in between like obviously i was just kind of chatting away and yeah so obviously i did my physique update and everything like that so you'll see that on screen too but as a whole it wasn't the workout i expected but i feel like it was the, the workout i needed anyways just carry on watching the rest of the clips and i'll come back to you near the end and like give you a little chat I kind of don't, I don't mind these vlogs, these, these, uh, these, these weekly vlogs, because they're not like one day, just spreading out little glimpses of certain days, it's kind of cool, I even like looking back on the odd one of myself as well, and I like, just see my progress and just see my mindset, but yeah, stay tuned. Alright, so you've seen the workout, I ain't gonna lie, for a good portion of it, I was probably chilling with my boys just chatting, and it was, it ain't gonna lie, it was a nice little mental break just to catch up and see what's going on in each other's lives. As for the workout as a whole, um, it was alright, I had to kind of rush things near the end simply because we were talking for so long and I didn't realise it was using up so much time to be honest until it was, it was like too late but overall goal of the workout get their muscles pumped up and moving um, just because I ain't going to be at the gym tomorrow yeah man, uh, we're 6 pounds down so far 
So that is uh, like roughly about one pound per week. It's just over six weeks now, so maybe just under one pound per week. I'm gonna see how the weight goes for the next um, few days, and then I'll decide whether I want to actually drop down more calories. Being completely honest, um, my goal throughout most of this cutting period isn't really to move the calories much at all. My main goal is to increase the protein, drop down the carbs a little bit, but the calories just somewhat still stay relative and increase my expenditure because my biggest problem, as many desk workers or office workers or nine to fives may have, that don't have like a very man, like walkative job, like a, walkative is not a word, but a walkative job, like a, um, like someone that's a gardener or something or a nurse. I don't move often unless I actively push myself. I could literally, on a day that I don't come to the gym, probably do maybe 2,000 steps. So I have to actively make myself get in the habit of exercise. And that's the biggest thing I'm trying to do throughout this period. It's not really to drop the calories like I normally do when I cut, like cutting for a holiday. I'll do any method to get to looking shredded. This way around, because I haven't got any holidays booked, I'm just trying to build a better me sustainably. So I'm trying to get my brain into used to actively moving, even when I don't feel like it. Ain't that funny? Now the sun wants to pop out. It was mad cloudy earlier, but all of a sudden, someone come out. Anyway, please let me know how your journey is going. Because really, hearing a lot of other people's like journey, how it's going, and seeing other people like sticking to it, it really does act as motivation. So I want us all to motivate each other.